Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-PW3033DX model. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up the inside of the laptop, the motherboard, the thermal paste on the CPU and the fan system in here. This is a brand new laptop, so I'm just going to go over how you can do it. It's probably not even dirty inside, but you get the idea how to clean it up. All right. So even for those people that were really picky, once they buy a laptop, they want to remove the thermal paste that comes from the factory because they're low grade thermal paste and you want to replace it with a high brand thermal paste. So you get a longer you know, lifespan from the motherboard. By doing this service, you're not going to lose any data or any files on your system. It's just going to be much cleaning the system. All right, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and I'll leave the link for all the tools that I use in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. Tool number one will be a uh, worksheet Tool number one is a workshop towel, one sheet of the workshop towel. You need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus, make sure it's 95 plus. You need a toothbrush, use or new toothbrush, and you need a good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can go with a crazy thermal greasy cryonaut. These are really high brand, but they're expensive, but I still recommend you guys go with an MX4 or MX5, which is really good. And you will need an opening tool and a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 classic steel bit. That means they will last you many years. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And you will need a tweezer. A curved tweezers are really good to have around. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. So first thing first, we're going to remove um, power on, flip it upside down. We're going to remove the bottom cover, bottom plastic right here. We're going to remove the bottom rubber cover right here and the back rubber cover. They have a lot of adhesive to them, so all you need to do is to stick the opening tool right there and squeeze it right underneath and make sure you lift up the rubber with the adhesive attached to the rubber. If it's attached to here, you have to pick it up and lift it up, bring it all the way here. All right, once you remove this one, pull it to one side, remove the back one too. And pull it to one side. Now we're going to, there's two types of screws in here, the long ones and the short ones. The short ones are the two exposed screws in the front end of the laptop. First, we go ahead and remove these two screws and put them in one pile. Now we're going to remove the rest of the screws, four on the back and one in the middle here. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will help and motivate me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I'll appreciate that. All right, once we remove the screws, now all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit. Just like that. And you want to stick the guitar pick, the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. And you want to twist it backward every one centimeters or every 30 half a centimeter. You want to keep working yourself around. You want to hear a big clicks. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. And you want to work yourself to the corner right here. And go all the way to the back corner. Make sure you go to the far, far back corner. There. And do the left and the right side. There we go. Now we're going to close up the screen. Put it upside down. And we're going to lift it up from front and bring it up, wiggle it around, and it will release the back corners. And there we have on the bottom, you can take a toothbrush and or any brush and clean up and clean up your dust in here. All right, next down here, we're going to see the whole motherboard. This is very clean. This brand new laptop already. So we're going to, I'm going to remove the heat sink and the fan to show you guys. Before we do anything here, we're going to remove the battery. To remove the battery, you want to remove four screws. One, two, three, four. Remove the four screws on the battery. All the screws are the same size and height again. 
keep them in different pile. Now you want to lift it up from the side, bring it up, just like that, make sure it disconnects and remove the battery. Now down here first we're going to detach this bridge cable that goes from the motherboard to the extra USB port right here. To detach this one you want to lift up this hinge right upward 90 degree and pull out the flex cable. You can do the same thing in here and pull it out so you can remove the flex cable entirely. Now down here we're going to see the fan cable which is right over here. So I'm going to untangle the power jack cable first. Bring it over, put it to one side. Now to remove the fan cable, I'm not going to pull on the cables. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the uh, tweezers beside the jack. I'm going to wiggle it around and it should release the jack right there. All right, with those two removed, now we're going to remove the four screws on the X clamp on the, on the CPU. Go ahead and remove these screws. Okay, we're going to remove one screw right here on the fan. All right, by removing those, now we can pick up the fan and lift it up. There's a little hinge in there. You have to pick it up straight upward. You can remove the fan without removing the heating if you want to just clean the dust. And you want to take this one outside and use a toothbrush and just clean right through and blow some dry air, compressed air right in here. I'll leave the link for a really good, powerful compressed air. Now, once we remove the screws here, we, want, we don't want to lift it up from here. If the thermal paste is really old and really stuck in there, you lift it up from here, you're going to bend the tubing. So you want to lift it up from here evenly and you just want to wiggle it around a little bit. I'm going to hold it from the neck. I'm going to lift it up like this. So there we have it. So there's your old thermal paste and thermal paste on the heat sink. So we're going to cut a little bit of the workshop towel right here. And we're going to soak it in an alcohol. And we're going to clean up the excess of the thermal paste on the CPU. Uh, with the same towel, I'm going to clean up the excess of the thermal paste on the heat sink. There we go. I'm going to grab a clean part again. We're going to do a second pass. And we're just going to rub it on top. Make sure we remove everything. We're going to grab another dry one. With a dry one, we're just going to do a one or two pass. Make sure there's no dust particle or anything on top. And there we have it. You're going to grab your thermal paste. You're going to put one drop in the main die. And one drop on the secondary die. Don't worry if it's, in, it's not too much. It's just going to go spread around. Once you did that, we're just going to grab the heat sink. Bring it over. Set it down straight on top and put it down. Once you put it down, you do not want to lift it up again. You want to hold it down with one finger gently. You want to follow the numbers one, two, three, four, or you can go cross. As long as you cross and screw them, you're fine. You don't have to actually go one, two, three, four. You can go two, one, and three, four. And the only reason for the numbers is there to spread the thermal paste evenly across the CPU die. Now you're going to grab the fan. Before we put the fan in, we're going to bring it in an offset position. We're going to put the fan jack in here first. Only fan jack goes in only one way. And bring it all the way toward the jack. And then you want to bring it over and put this hinge right to the fan right there. And set it down and put the single screw on this side of the fan to keep it in place. Now I'm going to run this cable right under this hinge right in the corner here. There's a little groove there and the cable has to be right on the side. You're going to grab the bridge cable. On one side it says motherboard, MB for motherboard. On this side it says USB, that means the USB side. So put the USB side down. Squeeze it all the way in and then lock it down. Bring this side down and open up the lock and squeeze it right in there and lock it down. One last thing down here would be to grab the battery. Before you put the contact in here, first put the back end corner here. Make sure it's in 90 degree right there. Stick it right there. And put this pin here right through the secondary hole. 
and then let go and then squeeze it down gently and put the four screws that you removed for the battery two by the jack and one on each corner at the back end of the battery all right with, with this one finished now what we're going to do grab the cover put it straight on top Squeeze the front corners, squeeze the back corners, make sure you don't click on the sides. And now what do you want to do? You want to open it up. You want to see little gaps in your openings and you just want to pinch them together. And it will just snap into the place right there. All right, and close down and put the two short screws in the front end of the laptop. And then you want to put the long screws at the back end and on the rubber cover. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to do your own service and maintenance for your HP 15-DW series laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws and that should be all.